Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to quickly go through a workaround um, or even a solution in case you get stuck um, with uh, the wonderful Logic 1075, the non-backward compatible 1075 Logic. So in saying that, what happens is if you open up an old session that you had running in 1048 or 105 or whatever you're running, um, and you open it up in 1075 and you encounter an issue in that session, uh, whether it be, I'm not sure whether a plugin issue or um, it's not playing properly, there's some sort of bug that you've encountered. And um, the issue is that you can't go back to 1048 with that same session. It just can't be done. And you can't rebuild it. You can't import uh, the files into a new 1048 session, for example, because everything's locked in 1075. And it's basically 1075 or nothing. So how do we work around this? Well, this is a session I've got in 1048. And basically what I do is I control click on that. I go duplicate. Okay. And then I just also give it a bit of a color. So it kind of sticks out a little more for me. And that's going to be my 1075 session. So with this one here, open this in 1075. And I think it may all be open. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, close what I've got already. Uh, I just had to sort of some default thing on. And this now basically will open up the session in 1075. There it is. Fantastic. I'm going to close that. And I'm actually going to quit logic. 10.75 and this is 10.48 I'm going to go 10.48 this may take a little while I may have to cut out a little bit of this as it goes through all my plugins we don't need to see all this now it's loading it all up And there we have it in 1048. So that's the way to get around this. Just duplicate the session and just make sure that you open, um, you don't open up 1048 with 1075 and you're safe. You're good to go. Anyway, guys, I hope that's, uh, hope that's been helpful for you guys. Cheers.